I'm there with you. I'm anxious to see what um, changes they make as far as uh, what the consumables are for, or not consumable, but, um, but the, um, what do you call them? Stuff you collect on the planets. Oh, the, um, I can't think of it right now. Yeah, the uh, resources? Planetary resources? Yeah, resources. Yeah. How they how they exchange the tokens for the resources now? Well, I don't know. It might become more grindy. I, I think that. <laughs> well, and that's why I was so on the fence about Forsaken. I didn't I didn't want Forsaken because it was like mm -hmm. we're gonna make it extra grindy. We're gonna make it so that you have to put in 30 hours a week into in Destiny to play this game. It's left. like the back part, the chunk screw of shit you, Bungie. No, I'm not. You're like if right. and that's Probably if this year. They start doing that. If Forsaken starts doing that, I'll cancel. I'll ask for my money back on the on the season pass. I'll have Forsaken, and I'll just walk away from Destiny. Honestly, if that becomes what, in order to continue to progress in the game, I have to do, I'll just walk away from the game. Because that's not. I'm not. That's not why I play video games. That's just not. So let's wait and see. Yeah, it goes from being fun to becoming a, a job. Um, one more set of a chore. Yeah. yeah. Can't be far. And that's what and my concern one? is that they're okay. moving towards. That because they got so many streamers at that convention that said, hey, like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And there's some people that are like, yeah. no lifers that, are, that can put that time in. Um... If you lose too much of the people that can only put in, um, you know, eight or let's say eight to twenty hours a week, I think that's a you know, if you if you're playing that much, you're putting in a healthy amount. You're not overly invested, but it's keeping you busy. Um, if you get rid of those people, your your not your your community is going to shrink. That plays the game. I played um, uh, Dead Cells this morning for like half an hour. Oh yeah, I I picked it up. I've been playing it. Well, you have it on PC though, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's a fun game to learn your mouse and keyboard with. It's not super punishing for the first while, at least. You can see that? Yeah. I like it. I could see it being a good handheld game, which is kind of why I want to get a Switch. Captain, may I speak with you in private? Sounds juicy. What's going on? But I kind of want to play it all the time, which is probably not a good thing. Because <laughs> I want to take it to work with me. <laughs> Not gonna get very much done if you got that thing sitting on your desk. <laughs> I know. Probably better I don't get it. Well, I'm looking forward to when my mortgages are all paid off and I'm not so strapped financially on a basis. It's just gonna be so much nicer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Set up an account, have all, everything automatically be transferring into there for my income tax and property tax at the end of the year. Well, that was a nice one for you. Yeah, we've been um, we've been moving stuff to auto draft, and it just takes a lot of the stress away. Do uh, down there? Do you guys allow for um, daily uh, transferals to the city for your property tax? This device looks like an old art energy conveyor. Oh, uh, it's... Thanks. Yeah, it's something like that. It's more of an escrow um, set up with the mortgage. Okay. Yeah, we have that option as so the well. The mortgage company pays it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have that option as well. Uh, so yeah, because you don't have to. No. 
Yeah. So if you want to do it all on your own, you can do it all on your own. But yeah, you just have to remember to keep up with it. So you have to uh, manually put the money there? You can't have it automatically go into that escrow? Yeah, mine automatically goes into it each month. It it goes into an account and then uh, the mortgage company pays it. From that account? From the account, right. And then they let you know if it's short, you know, like 20 bucks yeah. or however much. Like if it goes yeah, up. Yeah, the, a bit that they couldn't uh, uh, assess for. Right, yeah. Does it automatically then buff up the... Uh, whatever the shortage was uh, for the next year? Yep. Nice. You get an option. Cool. You pay it, or you can, um... Man, there's stuff everywhere. It, it doesn't even say what killed me, it just says the jam jamming servitor killed me. But, like, it just says, oh, I killed my architect. So, like, I don't think the game even knows why it killed me. Because, like, I was at full health. That's why I was surprised why that not? it killed me. Because I'm, like, at almost 400 power. So I shouldn't be slap aroundable. <laughs> and she thinks she can. Apparently. <laughs> I can see why people uh, rave about this uh, coop gun. I haven't, I've yet to pick up the, it's the Midnight Coops one yeah. you're talking about, right? Yeah, I haven't picked it up yet. Well, the first one had a pretty sweet. I tried in the Crucible, and the Crucible I was okay. Um, but for PvE, Barry it just down. tears. Failsafe. Those shanks were using your circuits as arc weapons. The Fallen are worse than the Cave 6. Oh, he's okay. Have you talked to sweeps lately? Um, a little bit at one point. Why you think I was curious if he was... Oh no, um, I was just curious what his thoughts on, um, Destiny was. Like if he was forsaken or... He's buying it. He just plays it very, very, um, like, it's more like a time filler for him now. Um, Path of Exile is what he plays. Yeah. We just I downloaded Path of Exile again. I just can't. It's it's hard for me to get into it. There's a lot of information. I find to it, it difficult it's, to play. It's um. I'm trying to think what that know? game is. I'm it's back. like it's got a huge I'm learning so curve on it. How do you builds. I'm Once the you best. learn the the yeah. builds structures, so um, then the story becomes like very quick. Uh, like, I'm still going through my story the first time, and Sweeps is completed it uh, on his second character now, the story. Oh, wow. Kind of and I told him, I said, wow, you did that really quick, and he says, well, I'm not doing, he's like, he's not complete, he's not, it's not, he's not running like a completionist, he still has missions that are being left undone, but, um, a lot of the stuff that he that took a lot longer to finish, uh, he didn't uh, take very long for because he's got a better build now. Okay, gotcha. Does not do a whole lot of hit with that thing. It, like... Walker is tougher than what usually is. Uh, I think that was about the average. I hate this strike. <laughs> 
I really do. I've played it so much here lately. I thought it was taken out of rotation. Guy at the end of it is. Or was that a different one? Uh, as far as I can tell, it's just heroic. Well, is this just the standard uh, strikes? Yeah, just oh. standard. Yeah, I can do some heroic strikes after this if you want to. I just it's so much quicker. Um, I'm getting about the same amount of tokens off of these. This song is the heroic. I'm done with Destiny until Forsaken drops music. I don't know. I might just play a whole bunch of um, Dead Cells unless someone's uh, asking uh, for help with something. Then I'll play Destiny this week. But from what I can tell, like there's no event or anything really this week. So. And I don't really have anyone to play with outside of the new uh, group that I joined. So yeah, just take a week off of Destiny. Probably gonna be on um, Vision on the rest of the week. Vision. Division's running, yeah, Division's running a, um, event right now. Oh, we getting ready for, um... I think it starts tomorrow. Uh, the Division 2? Yeah, they have a Shields event going on, and... Yeah, I heard about it. Uh, it unlocks, yeah. I pre-ordered Division 2, so it's... Looks pretty good. I don't, I don't have the time, and I don't have the money. I was contemplating going getting the shirt, because that's how far I got into the Moments of Triumph. And then I was just like, do I get it? I was like, well, I haven't got it before, so it would be nice I to know. get it this time. And I was like, you know what? I don't care. I really just don't care. What was that? It's never, it's never been a thing for me to collect physical stuff before. It's not worth it. For some people, it is. It's just never been a attraction to me. Yeah, I I put the shirt in my um uh, my cart. I've yet to order it. I just can't bring myself to order it for some reason. How much does it cost, America, for you? One, it's like uh, it's fifteen. Thirty? No, it's it's like twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. Just I just can't. That's a lot for a t-shirt. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I know it's personalized, but it's like a once in a, and they'll never run it again, but still, it's a shirt. Yep. to get him with my shotgun. He moved. He's running around like a crazy madman. I like, um, I like grind to upgrade things. I don't like grind for crap like this trying to reach level Vanguard 50. I don't care for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there's a weapon that I'm having to collect things for to upgrade. I like, I like that kind of stuff. But I know this is so aggravating. 
runs away. Not him? I thought that was him. I asked me to do redux with him. Redux is with him today. <laughs> and uh, I paged him and I says, hey, this is your paging to run reduxes. No response. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. He's early in the game, man. I wouldn't even. No, no, no. He's done. He's point. almost done. That's all that's left for him to go for one. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's a number of people I'm starting to see, and I don't quite understand why, but that's what they're leading to the end is the reduxes. I'm like, why don't you do the reduxes because you're going to get Actually, stuff to go towards your other points. Depending on what it is, yeah. by doing that. I need to pop up and we'll always be here. Yeah, I'm starting to get my Vanguard tokens for uh, season five. Or I'll probably just hold on to them until uh, next year's moments of triumph. All right. Okay. So I've cut my eating. Down about twenty five percent. I probably cut it back. Hmm. So eating times or just basically just calories? Um, volume. Okay. Volume and maybe some calories. Like, my calories are going to come with the volume. If I'm eating less volume, there's yeah, going to be less right. calories built into that. But it's specifically the volume is what I'm working on getting back. Um, I yeah. talked to my doctor, and my doctor said, your stomach is probably stretched to accommodate a larger diet, uh, which is why you're always... Because like, I always feel hungry. I can eat a big meal, and an hour later, my, my stomach's actually already digested it all, and it's ready for more. And I'm right back to being starving. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I mean, like, I was, I'm starving. Like, I could go and probably order, like, I could eat a foot-long sub from Subway, and an hour later, I feel like I could go and eat another one. That's how hungry I am. Mm. An hour later. So, I've cut it back. Now I'm, like, really hungry, but I'm hoping that because I'm really hungry, my stomach's slowly going to start shrinking back down in size, which is going to bring my stomach in tighter, hopefully. And uh, then it's going to force my body to burn some of the calories that I have stored up, burn some of those fats in their place, and get me back into a healthier point. Yeah. And the last I checked at the family doctor's, I was at 207. Um, <laughs> so, and the, like 207 is not like morbidly obese or anything, but. I do. Oh. I think I was on the low side of obese for my size. Like you're, you you actually are overweight at the very least at two o two o seven when you're five when yeah. you know. Oh yeah. If you were if you were at two o seven, you would feel you know uh, overweight. It's just hard doing it because like yeah. the wife's not entirely supportive of it. She's like, you're not fat. Just just chill. I think it's partially just she doesn't want me to lose weight because she knows that in the past uh, I've dropped 25 pounds in the blink of an eye and I think she's a little bit concerned that I'm going to drop down to like 150 very suddenly and then I'll weigh less than her again and she doesn't like that for a woman that's very, as you know, um, yeah. humiliating. So. Yeah. And then my mother-in-law, um, her husband, hey guys, he's like 6'4 or something, forest, and I think he's probably around 280. Long story. But because he's so tall, he wears it well. And uh, her and her, uh, her family yeah, that, are all saying like, oh no, you look a lot better, like you look healthy now. And I'm like, no man, I, like you guys don't get it, it's like, it, it's hard to move, it's, you know, this is not what you should be aiming for. So, I don't have much for support on the loss of weight, but I'm pretty set on it regardless. Yeah, I, I feel a lot better after uh, care to explain what's going using on? the 30 pounds that I did. The route 
well, if you lost 30 pounds, I feel like I'm out of, you out of breath. Because you were, you're, what, you're 175 now? About? Yeah. Yeah, so you were right well, around my see, weight then when you, 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 you've just, lost the weight that I'm basically targeting. Yep. Yeah, I was taking in too much sugar. I was just drinking lots of sugar, uh, eating junk. See, I'm, I'm eating some junk, which is difficult because my mother-in-law likes giving me stuff like that. Um, but I think it was just a, some overeating and then some not so good eating. I just gotta find something on the McDonald's menu when I'm out in town and something's happened and I am stuck to um, offset so that I can eat something at McDonald's and it's not going to add a whole bunch of calories to me. That right now is my biggest challenge. And it can't be a salad because sometimes I'm having to eat it while I'm driving. Like I've thought about taking their chicken burger. I... All right. Uh, taking a chicken burger, just telling them uh, no sauces on it except for barbecue sauce. Just like a piece of chicken grilled with cheese and barbecue sauce. Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't be too bad. No. Uh, if you could get it as a, a wrap, that would be better. I'm not too concerned about the breads. I don't think the breads are that end of the world. No, they're not. As long as you don't overdo it. No. The bread. How bad are the fries at McDonald's? Because us. Like, what could I substitute for fries? I'll have to go sit there. I have to sit down and look at their menu. That's a good question. There's, there's got to be good options. Yeah. It's got to get clever. I did too. You popped your um, Dawnbreaker, didn't you? Yeah, it, I think we popped um, supers at the yeah. same time. No, that's okay. It was fun. Still trying to get used to this super. I'm trying to use it more. I didn't know it on, had a healing ability. PC for those? Yes, it is crazy. Um, eggs. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the streamer that. Oh, that was amazing. It clears the whole map in like, what, me feel... like maybe a second. <laughs> yeah. And that's not even an exaggeration. Like... It's just you see him. He jumps and he just starts accelerating and he jumps a second time and he's accelerating. Mm -hmm. just like Welcome to the and he's blowing oh, past all of his teammates. Blows right into the and just like pulls out the fighting lion and just like one shots. And it's like. Half the team the type of thing. It's like, uh, okay. I'm blaming you for this, Osiris. Blame whomever you'd like. Just destroy that mine. Trying to keep us from that spire. Smart. Oh. 
You see that beam? Well, and I've tried the protein shakes, and like I, uh, I talked with a place that like sells stuff, and like they've got some people that like they know the whole like how to be fit, how to do all that, and uh, they're saying like, oh well, if it's not filling you up, add milk. It's like, well, that's actually where I started was I put milk in it, and like, and that doesn't make you full. I was like, no. I'm like, okay, Every well, put an egg in it. So I put an egg in it, I'm like, I'm still hungry. Like, <laughs> I just told them, I said, I'm still hungry from it. They're like, okay, you have way too big of a snack. It's just way too big of an appetite. <laughs> Like on some level, I enjoy it because I I haven't gotten to enjoy like having a big appetite. Like I don't I'm not usually a big I haven't been a big eater like so it's been kind of fun for that part in a way. Oh yeah. I always tell people I'm my family, I'm like, I'm just making room for Thanksgiving. <laughs> but that's usually when I overindulge. Well see, and that's what like I wanna lose the weight so that I can go and do that one day. Thanks, but right now it just it feels like I'm just going from like one indulgence to another to another. And I don't want that. Nope. It being in the other location. Oh, um, did you try the uh, labs? The no. Play labs playlist? I haven't stepped foot in a uh, labs yet. I've heard this one's really fun though. Me either. Yeah, Scorch Cannon. Yeah. You get a Scorch Cannon, you get a Scorch Cannon, you get a Scorch Cannon. <laughs> yeah, and you get a Scorch Cannon. You grab said Scorch Cannon, everyone else gets a Scorch Cannon. You try to shoot one another with you get... said Scorch Cannon. Yeah, you shoot Scorch Cannon, you get killed by Scorch Cannon. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard some people are like, Go play it. If you have not played it, what are you doing with your life? So, by, and, like Destiny, the Bungie has said, we've heard you guys. You are enjoying this mode. Now, I don't think they necessarily chose the best of times. When people are still trying to get their stuff done, I don't know if now would have been a good time to put yeah. something like this out. Now, I could be totally wrong. Um, but... I just don't know how many people have the time to do that and aren't busy enough trying to finish up the last of their Rooms of Triumph or Solstice of Heroes. Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to drop a rift. Though, like in Warframe. From the rest of the forest, but I can only do so much to keep yeah, there's a um. Hold on. If, a, if you had, hadn't looked it up, there's a frame that um. What's her name? Uh, you can make her ability play your own tunes, like design the music. Oh. That's I don't know how people have time for this, but the people have made this ability like. Play a complete song every time they throw the ability. That's her. That's her damage attack or buff is like, you know, like a music ability. She's like this DJ, yeah. Warframe. 
I'll have to look, look it up later. So are you gonna the link play in Discord. Iron Banner? With a power, uh, power advantage enabled? I don't really... Probably not. I don't really... I didn't enjoy it that last time I played it. I just don't... I'm not a big PvP for no, person. You're not. Don't. I did I like. PvE for the longest time, like back in D1, year one, like, uh, Dark Below, I think, era. Mm -hmm. uh, I did strikes for four hours straight. It was just strike after strike after strike. I got to the point where it didn't matter what the team did, I progressed. Oh yeah? Yeah. I knew within five minutes how many, how hard of a carry um, the blueberries that I um, logged in with were going to be. Because I had so much time logged into. Gracious. Oh, I actually need to switch uh, off a of shotgun. That does me no good. I should have done that before I picked all that heavy up. <laughs> so, one shot now. Yeah, I messed myself up. It's okay, it strikes. We're not going to be uh, struggling. We just pulled the plug on this fire's art network. The mechs are pretty angry. It's just so I cool hitting this one. Excuse us while we. Uh, yeah. Look at me, I'm and rusty. that's it. I got the whisper. Yeah, I ran it with um, Bark and. Chenerits. Okay. Chenerits. What's his name? They yeah, they needed carry. a third one. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, it was basically a carry. I was, I was having problems with the jump puzzle. And I showed up and there was only like, um, maybe nine minutes left. And we just kept chipping away at the boss and, and Spark popped a super and went and took the boss out and, and Wayne got her and Wayne needed one too that was pretty cool Spark's pretty good yep needing that kind of stuff Why does 
been dismantled. Now you're whispering that just down the boss? Fires all over the place today. Well, it chipped away at him. I hit him with my super a few shots. It helped too. We just met the biggest vex cyclops I've ever seen, and we cracked it in half. It, it's okay. It's an okay sniper. Yeah, I don't think it's. It's not the best thing since sliced bread. Everybody makes it out to be. I've actually had times where the sleeper did better. You've been coffee. Oh crap. Now I kind of want some coffee. What? I didn't say anything about coffee. Oh, Cuban coffee, I see. Oh, the, um... He's a YouTuber! Yeah. yeah, House of Coffee. House of Cuban coffee? coffee YouTube. Yeah, they're, um... I was looking at their emblem. They have a... Their a clan was House of Coffee. I think they like coffee. But you don't you keep running these if you want to. I only need just maybe a couple more. Yeah, that's fine. I feel this last bounty is being a pain. I love how American website is dot com, which is dot computer. But everyone else, they use like for Canada, it's .ca for Canada. But the states, mm -hmm. they're like, well, it's not .us. <laughs> there's some, um, there's us.gov websites. And then, um, there's a lot of .org. I guess you probably have .org up there. Yes, uh, that's like for organizations. Country specific. This guy looks like he must be, if, if the guy we saw is the same guy I just looked at, he must be just starting out. Mm. Like, I just went and I looked at Cuban Coffee YouTube channel, and for mm -hmm. information on it, it shows him having followed a whole bunch of people. Ah. Uh. I think his account's real fresh. He's wanted to do YouTube content on Destiny. I think he should have started it about three years ago. Yep. That seems to be the magic, magic time. Yep. I'm a little bit late to the party, but that's okay. I've got a message, uh, yeah, think... Operation Supply drop and figure out a good time to do a stream for them. Calling all guardians. Oh, okay, that's cool. Don't worry, uh, we're here. They said just, they, they, all they said was, just tell us a day and a time and we'll give you the link and you go. It's like, okay. And he's attacking Rasputin. But I don't have anyone coming in my channels and donating, so I don't know if I'm gonna get any money going to them. But I can try. That's right. Is there Xbox One X that's already in the boss's room? <laughs> It's a pain sometimes because I've loaded in to strike. And you have to wait around because the ads aren't spawning. Yeah, so it's it's really it's pointless. Uh, no, no, no. There's an update coming out for Xbox, and the Xboxes regular are going to run at the same ability that the Xs are running at, and the Xs are going to be running even quicker. Oh. Um, I know I'm kind of looking into it. I'd like to do it. Um, Apparently, you can go get a solid state um, hard drive add-on for your Xbox. If you mm -hmm. port over, let's say Destiny, 
to your Xbox uh, external hard drive with that solid state, it will run very similar to a um, Xbox One X for load times. And I saw a guy, and I said, "How are you?" I said, "Oh, you got an Xbox One X," and he says, "No, I've got an Xbox." I was like, well, how are you loading so quick? Because I know it's like, he's like sitting around waiting for me to load in. And then that's what he told me. He says, since I did this, he said, it's just... Attention. Neural net inhibitor offline. Call power levels rising. So I, I, and I, I said, like, oh, so it's like an Xbox One X. He says, yes, except you don't have, like, you know, the 60 frames per second. You don't have... Remember, a safe work environment I'm is like, a well, I don't care for those. And I have one memory fragment left to go get, and I don't even care. I'm not even gonna go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so finding it. There's no way of knowing which one it is. Yeah, see, now that's what I ran into, and I had to. And I've had gone to just through all the, the locations, and, go and everything the video. is showing empty. That note is giving off strange readings. So I was just like, hey, you know what? Move. I'm done. Oh, no. I'm just gonna enjoy the game. With the inhibitor offline, it's probably, the see, I did that to too, and it's probably Defend one that probably looked look, like looking right at it, or looking over it, because that's what happened to me. I was like, oh, yeah, there it is, you know? One that I thought I had. Yeah. Just turns out I was overlooking it. Got it. Neural net is online and ready. Now for the inhibitor. Critical overload. Personnel are recommended to evacuate. Having too much fun with that thing. Well, I'll try and use it up because it doesn't last in here. <laughs> nothing, like, nothing, like, nothing like pulling the trigger and it disappears in your hands as you pull the trigger. It's like. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Bungie said they're not bringing back the LM, um, the heavy machine guns, period. Hmm. I miss, um... What's the name of that one? But under... Thunderlord? The exotic? And heavy from day one. The exotic heavy. Yeah, the exotic heavy, heavy, heavy day gun? one. Yeah, that's, um, Thunderlord. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I missed that one. So good. Intel. 
intel from assorted hive apocrypha. A heretical hive priest brought him here to spite orcs and start a war. Rasputin was barely able to repel the attack. He froze Zol and his army as a last ditch effort. Hey, and watch now, up. Get over here. Now the past is back to haunt us. But go. don't worry, we'll put down Zol for good. Struts. Oh, did you get that dance or did you buy it? <laughs> no, I no, I don't think you would. I ain't spending money. I've on seen that. some people and they actually went and bought him like alright. No. It was a drop for me. I saw it and I was like, well that's cool. Use my all our, all my drop RNG a rift to get right the, here. Uh, selfie, the popcorn sweep. I'm standing on my rift. Is it powering? Yep. faction. Doesn't that make it kind of pointless for you running the uh, whispers? I don't know. Might. Well, you get a kind of a bonus. I need to look at the stats on it. it you could be be right. Well, but every three shots you hit, it's gonna put the. Are you supposed to melee or something? But isn't Luna Faction also um, only ARs? No, it allow anything in the rift. And he's dead. Way to go, Guardian. Couldn't have done it without you. We make a pretty good team, if I do say so myself. <laughs> got a raid I gotta go quickly do. I think it's just a completion. So I'll probably be back in 15 minutes. If not less. Oh, okay. I'm not. Hey, guys. Hey, yep. how's it going? You have not done this before, right? Which one are we doing? I can't remember. Lair, Lair 1, Eater of Worlds. I'm gonna say no. Argus. Argus the big dude. No, I have not completed him. Okay. Well, you will today. Yes. Thank you for that host. Greatly appreciated. He's talking to himself. <laughs> Raven is showing as offline. Bunny nom nom, hopping through the forest. I feel my on the head. Yeah. Okay. 
Raven was oh, on online no. earlier. Bunny is Bunny is no longer signed up. Uh oh. So we have, but we do have Mac, who has also never done this before. He's pretty good though. But, yeah. Pretty sure I was in his. I wish what one prestige callus run. Um, I see. I see six people on in the party. You guys are absolutely right. This oh, is no, Halo. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know Stellar. Only <sighs> only failed uh, streamers would ever come and play right. this game, right? right? <laughs> well. <laughs> Dirks, are you sure hey, that I'm this at 69. Isn't, uh, okay, I'm about to cross uh, the seventy. Warframe. I thought this oh. was uh, Warframe. I've said it. You're gonna pass me. How was your guys' nights? I'm gonna be number two. Wait. How's my audio, by the way? Does it sound a lot nicer than uh, it has in the past, Stellar? I uh, got my mic set up, and from what I can tell, it looks like it runs a lot cleaner. I just don't know if it's um, quiet okay. still or not. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mac, have you completed Eater of Worlds before? I have not. I got it. I got. I think I got stir. All right. Good deal. Drain. Good virgin. It'll be good. Can you guys? Can you guys hear me all right? This is a brand new mic. Yes, indeed. You're loud and clear. Yeah, that postmaster would be a little bit full. I gotta keep it empty. Here, what if I do this? I gotta turn my gain up if I have to. Yeah, I. Shh. I don't. I, we're not gonna look at it here. Oh no! I almost looked at it. I don't know what it is. I think that's Sturm, though. Sturm! Uh, piston section or shadow deep. One of you guys want to run tethers on final phase? Okay, let's see. That's three. Mm. I I give it a shot. I, I'm, I am no nuts. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. no one. No one is nuts. I am gonna give it a shot. Section can do it. Where's section at? This time. Uh, this Section's getting pretty good at I, it. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's He's glitched and it anyway. drops two of them because it affects two guns. Doesn't matter. That's I, I my suspicion. Uh, section, you're it. We've been tag teaming between me and him and me and Rick, and it's been pretty good. You've been volunteered. Or voluntold. Voluntold. <laughs> that's what Navy that's what Navy stands for, right? Never again volunteer yourself. I can believe it. Yeah, this time you volunteer oh. you end up fucking carrying shit up onto the boat. Right, just waiting on Ace. I'm ready to go. Just need you to need you to join. What? Oh, I joined on you guys. Did it separate us? No, I do not see you. Oh, I'm on. I will reinvite you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm in the fucking tower, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just uh, the harassment package. <laughs> You're the harassment package. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just um, kidding. I'm so, loadout wise, what's recommended for the beginning of this one? Um, for the very beginning, you. A, a long range weapon helps to deal with Scion snipers. Um, other than that, really just whatever you're comfortable with for clearing ads. I like using Skyburners for the first part because we've got lots of Cabal. Um, I use the EP shotgun. Um, what class are you running? I'm gonna go, um, I was planning on going Night Stalker, but I can go Narc Strider if we need that. No, Narc no, Night Stalker works great. On the final box. 
Well, yeah. Yeah. At this point, Arc Strider works great. Mm. Uh, um, chicken head. So, yep. Yeah, whatever. Whatever kinetic and energy you want, really. But again, you know, one longer range weapon helps for the beginning, beginning part. Um, yeah, I mean, at, at this point, it's not not too important. Later, you're going to want void weapons um, to deal with void shielded minotaurs. But. All right. Do you want to go outside? Oh, okay. I'll be right back while we're queuing in here. It's a Mac and a Smack, you said you're Hunter, right? Yeah. And then Ace, are you as well? Yes, I am. Yes, yes. I am. Okay, cool. Um, Ace, do you have a raid uh, Hunter Cloak? Yep. Right, that, that damage boost is going to make a lot of difference when we get to the final boss especially um, I have one as well but it's uh, solar and I don't right now. you can you can change if it's the, the cloak you can change the class item and it costs a whopping one callus token <laughs> Only one way to go. Yep. There you go. Yeah. No, doesn't have the height. if you want. Are you streaming section? Oh yeah. Oh, oh Mac, you can you part. can just you can you can just jump over there. Oh uh, no, pull us. Guardian down. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's way over there. Oh, yeah, they missed the flying guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm streaming as well on Twitch. Well. <clears throat> All right, All Piston. Right. You want to take one? I'll take six. I right, take one. Follows along in the train. That's right. Yep. One That's per exactly plate. it. Do it quickly. I'll take three. Someone jump up. Someone jump up as two. 
I'll take three. Once everyone's on for a little bit, we're gonna get some Ads. cyan snipers. Lock, go. Lock, right. Go, go, go. Oh. It's okay, don't respawn. Do not yeah, respawn. No, I know. It'll pull me out. Yeah. All right. Once all the platforms come up, you can go. All right. One, two, and three right. will be on the right side. Four, right, five, and go. six will be on the left side. Yep. So whoever was four. He's going to jump down. All right, jump down to that platform. And just as soon as the next one appears, it'll be over here. Jump out onto it. And then Ace, yep. you're going to go oh, off Mac. here. Mac. Right, Mac again. One's pistons. Okay. Oh, they didn't lock. What? Oh, there we go. On this one, for Mac and Ace, there's one point where you're going to turn around and follow me. We're all going to get on the platforms, and then a platform's going to appear behind us. I'm going to jump to it, and then you'll follow me in reverse order. So five will go, and then four. Yeah, one, two, three, I'll and four. Let you, just... I'll let you. Yep, stay. Well, one, two, and three, just stay put. One, two, and three, yeah. Right. Right, section you are now four. Mm. <laughs> oh, never mind, section you are now five. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So section, follow me. And then Ace, in just a minute, you're going to follow section. Follow section. It's here. Go Shadow. Yeah, you might die, Ace. Oh, no. no. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they, they lock before it drops. So. Alright, right, let's rock and roll. 
Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Same order. I'll take pay, five. Yep, same order. Pay really close attention to where the person in front of you is jumping from. There's some parts where it looks... It's not quite intuitive where the next platform is, so just make sure you're following the person in front of you. Next, I'll take number six. Go ahead, Pasha. Is this the one with the jumping oh, right. back across? Nope. Yeah. That was the last one. Oh. Yeah, you kind of have to jump a long distance here. All right, Shadow, you get the next one. Okay. I got the next one. Just photo regular now. Oh. Move ace, move ace, move ace. Yeah, I saw someone jump over. Up. That's alright. Go ahead, Pasha. No, we're, we're, they're all, they're all we're done. We're screwed. Yeah. They're all red. Yeah. <laughs> Guardians down. Guardians down. So yeah, there's one point where the first two guys do a little creative jumping. Just ignore them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the yeah, only one after that, that piston will continue to shadow. Right. I'm oh, sorry, say that again? Uh, the, the only, uh, the only difference is Shadow, like, um, when the one in the middle, in between us come up, it's yours. I, and we did it the right way. After that, it's just follow the person in front of you. So four, uh, three, four, five, and six actually should always keep following the person in front of them. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. Follow the person in front of you. That's. I'm streaming if you want to watch. Okay. Shadow, you get this one. Okay, and we, now we just follow the person okay, so on us. You're gonna jump there, Matt. You went to the wrong one, Ace. You should have followed the person in front of you. Yep. I, That's what I said. Sneaky. You got the spot. Oh. I thought I I was following Mac. Oh, you you Sorry. landed on Mac. Yeah, you landed on I Mac. I landed on Mac. Mac. Oh. I thought I saw him jump. One moment here. My head that's about to die. That's why you gotta reinforce when uh this one, Padishar, that there's going to be one that you're going to want to jump to the closest one, but don't, because the other guy, all the other guy. Everybody always wants to jump to that oh. close one when they have to jump to that further one. Yeah. yeah. Always, Happens always every follow. Time. Every time. Shadow. Shadow, this is yours. 
Which one am I supposed to jump to next? You follow me. Sh shadow, shadow, shadow. Guardian down. Mm. Yeah. That's because that platform is going. <laughs> Time. Want me to take a second? Sure. Okay. Alright, why don't you go five then, Shadow? Nice floof save. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Was that a sniper? <laughs> or a jack? <giant? laughs> uh, both. <laughs> Where's Mac? Right here, right here, right here. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, this should lock us. Speed lock. There we go. Go, go, go. <sighs> okay, let's make sure we don't trigger it so we give time for Shadow to get here. Luffy Warlock. All right. Yeah. Pace and max. So this part is just clearing ads. Um, lots of Cabal ads are going to spawn all over the place, including, you know, every type of Cabal imaginable. At the very end, we're going to get four um, Colossuses, the really big guys. Once they're down, um, Callus will stop everyone else, like, stop all the ads, and we will get to continue moving forward. So that's it. Kill lots of ads. Um, if one of you wants to go to the far side and one of you stay on this side, far, far side, side is over there. All right, Shadow, you want to hang out here with sure. me and Matt? Uh, Matt, come on back over this way. You guys good? All right. Now nice, let's do it. Yeah. I'll take first tether. What? Tether, I was so close.
Alright, here come the... Oh, never mind. Not yet. These guys, are they all doing hard damage? No, but a lot of them. Yeah. Alright, here come the last guys. Oh. Alright. That's it. Grab your chest. Yes, I've done it this week. Oh, we did prestige. Yeah, prestige. Yeah. That's it. All right, drop down here. Aim for the red pipes right in front of you. You want to land on top of those. If you miss, don't worry. The air will blow you back. Yep. Um, there's these platforms down here to either side of where you're supposed to land that are easier to get to than all the way to the top of the platform and you can jump up from there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Alright. Uh, Alright, now we're running through the pistons. Haha. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. In this area, you see these gosh and tape areas here? Stay, stay, stay in there. Um, yeah, I mean, you can actually just follow me. Hold on, give me one we'll go. Oh, all right. OK, good to go. Just wait here. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Okay, come to us. Down here. Okay. We'll make one more stop before we get where we're going. All right, and now the rest of the way in. All right. Yeah, it is instant death if you're not in one of those areas when the piston hits. Guardian town. Or if you <laughs> fall to your death. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's always been happening to you. <laughs> okay, whoever did that. <laughs> This always reminds me of James Bond. I'll go yeah, right. I was just about to say that. I'm not gonna say anything about this part. I definitely like whoever designed this aspect of falling through. I like this. This was like one of my favorite parts of this raid. I never completed it, but it's just this part was. This was cool. Yeah, it's, it is pretty cool. My favorite part was the 400 level rock, uh, grenade launcher I keep getting. <laughs> Great. Yeah. We have other guests <laughs> yep. You'll have to settle the battle space amongst you. Well, just definitely only... won't get it on this one because it's not prestige. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so I'm going right. Um, there's these rings that we have to fall through to, to try and trigger a chest. Callus grants a gift. Very nice. First time. Legendary Engram, no way! Alright, we're gonna jump across all these floating rocks here. Mm. 
no. Oh, boy. Guardian down. Outward? Yeah. Oh, why'd it put me all the way back up there? <laughs> Man, nobody trusts me to revive them. It's amazing. I, did. I thought everybody else was gone. Floofy Warlock. Alright, so... This is the room where you are going to spend... What the heck? This is the room where it happens. Yeah. <clears throat> Rest of the raid. Um, I definitely recommend, especially if you've not been in that... Like arena before, Do a lap just taking a lap around it, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely take a lap. Um, just kind of get familiar with it. Especially, pay attention to the area in between the plates, so you can see, you know, best best route for jumping. So you don't fall to your death. Should I switch to like a whisper or sleeper or something? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it for the... depends. Final boss, <laughs> something like Whisper can be very helpful. When you're defending a plate, Whisper's not great. What? Um, I prefer short range weapon, sword, yes. shotgun. I mean, I'm using the EP shotgun. That's what I have on um, Or swords. Yeah. You're gonna have to deal um, with Minotaurs, void shielded, so any. Um, Void or shotgun, void will be doing fine. Yeah, and you know how the minotaurs are, right? They they blink around, they teleport. Um, right. They'll get right up to Rocket launchers are the best. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's but that's also why snipers are a, are a problem, is because they get right up in your face. Yeah, those are the um, grenade launchers. It's like the best of all possible worlds. Mm -hmm. You can blow yourself up and do less damage doing it. Right. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> now use a okay. sword or a shotgun. That's you know, they will they will come like really close to you. Like they will try to melee you. So just wait, they get to you, you take them down, end of story. With rocket launcher you have to time it. <laughs> In between blinks. So alright, so it looks like piston and ace on arc. Why don't we do me and Mac on void? And then section and shadow on solar. Sure. Does that work? Section you want to run or defend? Well, he's going to tether, so we should probably defend. defend it is. Yep. Just so All we right. don't change during the next phase. Um, so, um, Mac and Ace, what we're going to do here, um, you guys are just responsible for keeping your area clear of ads. Um, if you're going to die, go ahead and run. Okay, it's better than better than dying. Um, but just do your best to keep clear of ads. Every time a new set of mines spawn, which will spawn up in the deal here in the middle, a group of six or seven Vex will appear all around the plate. If you're still on tether, just drop a tether right in the middle of the plate. It'll catch them all, um, just like Pokemon. Um, and it's, yeah, that's it, and then kill him. Um, yeah, but Riggs yeah, just and keep... Tether is your friend here. Mm -hmm. It's always your friend, anyway. Um, what the runners are going to be doing is grabbing these craniums, and what we'll have you do is we'll have you per pick up, don't do it yet, we'll have you pick up the first cranium, um, and you'll grab it, you'll run it back to your plate. Um, and then it's probably easiest to, at that point, just have them just defend Piston and we'll just make sure we're keeping it stocked. Yeah, every plane yeah. as we go. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. Um, so that's it. You're going to pick up, just so you know, you always pick up from the left of your plate. So Ace, you're going to be picking yeah. up from there. Um, Mac, you see where, where yours is. Yep. yep. Um, you'll grab it. You'll bring it over to the fire here, 
and just drop it in. Once it's fully cooked, you'll you'll see the flames go down. You'll see the floating skull in there. Leave it there. The runners will be grabbing those. Um, the mines are going to be spawning three at a time in the metal sheeting covering the boss here. Um, if it's on our side, you know, if it's on your side, just call it out and say, okay, on Void we have two arc and a solar, or whatever the call out may be, just so the runners know right away what's coming. Um, and that's really it for this one. Um, this phase is pretty straightforward. There's a little more going on in the next one. Uh, but for um, this one, that's about it. Yeah. A okay, quick question. How often Absolutely. will I have to go grab those things and bring them back in? When, what just once. The... Okay. Just, just, just at the beginning. Um, once you get more comfortable with it, um, typically the defender will, you know, if a runner pulls the last skull from, from your plate and there's no more skulls cooking, the defender will go and grab one and drop it in. But being first time, just grab that first one and drop it in, and then. We'll take care of the rest. Sounds good. You know, right. for this one, if you're a defender, uh, the trick is really to not get the uh, the ads kind of stack up and overwhelm you. So what you want to do is, when they spawn, for each set of mine, just drop a tether, clean up, what, clean up what's on the plates, throw grenades, throw what, what you need to do, and then go to the spawn points on either side, clean up, left go right clean up go back to left clean up like if you do that like regularly then you won't get like a lot of them kind of chasing after you so it's 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 yep. very straightforward yep. all right so mac yeah ours on void they spawn here and they spawn here sorry i'm do that one okay. more time they spawn down there uh -huh. and they spawn right here Gotcha. Okay. Okay. But yeah, every if you're wearing Orpheus rig, it should be charged pretty much every time. If not, if mines are spawning and you don't have your tether, let me know and I can drop one. Uh, but you just drop it right in the middle of the plate and it'll catch all of them that spawn there. Um, and then yeah, try and ambush the the guys as they're coming out of the out of the doors. All right. Any questions? I mean, this this one's pretty straightforward, but. Yeah, what's, the yeah, what's the meaning of life? Don't say 42. 42. <laughs> oh, 42. <laughs> All right. So go ahead out there. Go go jump by the skull that you're going to pick up. All right. It's solar side. One of each. Careful, apart from Minotaurs, there's also exploding um, Vex. What, fanatics, is that what they're called? Fanatics, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cheese bots. Yes, well. Yeah. I wasn't going for the scientific term. I was just. <laughs> Cheese bots, come back. <laughs> Thank you, Nuts. <laughs> One of each, again. Um, that's the wrong arc side. Do you want to do the right side first? Still have one arc on solar, and then we're good. We have one of each on arc. Can you still use that solar? 
Oh. I didn't think it had much juice in it, yeah. Yeah, it's so quiet over here because there weren't any skulls cooking. I'll make it fun again. We have one of each on our. <laughs> Crazy. Are you good on orb section? Yeah, I'm good. We have two arcs. Yeah, and a void. And a void. On void. Alright, do you need help with arc? Nah, should be fine. There's one cooking just in case I'm bringing one right now. Hey Mac, you want to go grab another skull? Yeah. Alright, we good. What's the uh, last call? Um, arc. Arc. Void. Man. If someone can uh, has yeah, right I'll to get an arc, we I'll have help. two that's... Sure. I'll grab it. Be ready. I don't think we're needed here anymore, section. No, everybody can go to void now. Have a good one, Stellar. Thank you for coming by. I like seeing these text things. I'm gonna have to learn how to do them properly. Is that the, uh, the last arc there? Yep. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Well, that was it. Hopefully that seemed really difficult to you guys. Yeah, that was the hardest Stay part of the raid. Was it actually? <laughs> it is on prestige. Yeah. It depends with the um, harpy. Gotta control the fucking harpy. Get out of control. Might be out of the air, you can't jump around. Alright, so if you didn't get your chest... Get over here and get your chest. Yeah, so... Oh, hey, um, Shadow and Piston, you guys want to bring down the guns real quick? Yep. So, we're going to add to this part a little bit. So what the defenders are going to do, the defenders are going to stand by the skulls. You're, you guys are going to pick up skulls first, and then you're all going to go to the same plate um, 
one of the runners will call out and say, okay, it's on, you'll hear a call out that'll sound something like, okay, it's on arc, we need two solars and an arc. All three defenders are gonna go to the arc plate in that situation. Um, that will be the DPS plate, that'll be the direction that the boss is facing for the damage phase. Um, all three of you will take your, take your skull, charge it, and just leave them there um, until later. Okay. The three runners are going to take care of the orb colors that were called out. Um, so in that situation, I set an arc. Um, that runner will actually go to a different plate and then bring their orb to the, that extra orb to the DPS plate later. Um, what those orbs are for are bringing down a shield, which we cannot see right now once we start the, once we started a shield to come up around them. There will be three colored orbs, shoot them all at the same time, bring them into the middle, brings down the shield. To that point, um, it's pretty much the same. For you two though, what you're going to want to watch out for is section tethering. He's going to be tethering ads on one side or another, depending on which plate it's on. He'll tell you. Before he starts tethering, don't try not to kill stuff. And then once he does start tethering, don't kill anything near where he's tethering. Because he's just going to chain tethers as much as possible to generate as many orbs as he possibly can so that we can get off three or four golden guns in one damage phase. Um, so what you guys need to be watching out for is again making sure you are not killing any of the ads in or near his tether just focus on what's coming up from the opposite side or what's up on the plate um make sure he doesn't get killed from behind because that's happened a lot with with people who haven't done this before um so protect section but don't shoot anything that he's trying to tether Shoot the stuff that's coming up from the other side of the plate. Um, if the harpies, there, there will be a bunch of harpies in the air. If the harpies are out of the range of his tether, don't ask before you do it. Say you want us to get the harpies. He'll probably say yes. Because on, on most of the plates, you can tether the harpies just fine, um, without any problems at all. And so if you can get them, it makes his tether all the better. Um, but if they're if they're way out of range of his tether, go ahead and kill them. Um, once we bring the shield down, grab the skulls that are at that you guys dropped before and use them for DPS. Just line it up on his nose, his little arachnid looking nose there. And it does a ton of damage. Um, and then start unloading with supers and um, power weapons. At this point, if you want rockets, rockets are good. Um, whispers, great. Um, as good as Whisper is, though, your your Celestial Nighthawk golden guns are going to do more damage. So, you know, okay, get a few shots to... off with Sleeper, switch to gold. Yes, definitely switch to golden guns, switch to Nighthawk. Um, and, again, most damage phases you're going to be able to get off two, three, maybe even four um, golden guns. Don't have what? I don't have my Celestial Nighthawk. I don't have my Celestial Nighthawk. Do you have a way to transfer it? Oh, uh, I. Yeah, it's uh, in the vault. Uh, it's not even in the vault. Oh, all right. Well, I mean. I'll do DPS. Use the. Yeah, well, and use use bottom tree, Nighthawk. It'll still do pretty good damage as long as all three are precision hits, and it'll generate six orbs, which will help to yep. chain even more supers. Um, so, no, it's all good. Um, but then, yeah, use, use Whisper, use whatever yep. big weapon you have for DPS. Um, during the DPS phase, there's a couple things to watch out for. First of all, ads are still coming up. Um, you're going to get Minotaurs trying to smash you while you're doing DPS. Um, two, three times during the DPS phase, you'll see a white light appear near his nose, and he'll shoot out a prism weapon at you. If that hits you or gets close to you, it will catch you in a trap, and you'll float off in that direction. No matter which plate you're on, you will float toward the Sun. burning light over that way. Right. Yep. Um, 
And so if you hear someone say, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, look in that direction, you can just shoot them out. Don't use, you don't need to waste power ammo on that. Um, just shoot them out. And then... Does it take like a one shot or to watch out how much game? damage does it take to... No, you gotta, you, no, you gotta shoot. I mean, if you're using an auto rifle, it'll take... Half a clip? Half a clip, three quarters of a clip. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, just keep shooting until it pops. Yep. Um, and then the other thing to watch out for is kamikaze harpies, who will dive bomb you and try and blow you up, and they will kill you if they land on you. So, oh, so it's um, they die again. really... Oh, so uh-huh, but they die really easily. Um, if they're flying at you, you can shoot them pretty quick. Um, we'll try and call them out saying, you know, harpies going left, harpies going right. Um, but there's there's six of them. Uh, again, they die pretty quick though, so it it can get kind of hectic during the during the DPS phase. Um, so just be aware of what's going around on around you um, as you're sighted in on his nose. Watch out for that prism weapon that's coming at you, um, and don't just stay DPSing the whole time so that you you're aware of what's going on around you. Um, after a little while, his shield will come back up, and we'll have a, a few seconds to clear some ads. Then the shield will drop completely, and you'll see some platforms appear around him. We're going to hop up hop up a couple levels on the platforms. He has six crit spots that will open up. We have to break two of those spots. Easiest way to do that is if you got an auto rifle, just everybody shoots it with an auto rifle. Um, you know, if someone's got a lot of extra sleeper ammo or, or um, whisper ammo, we can use it on that. If someone's got a golden gun left over, we can use it on that. But we have to break two of those crit spots to stop his white mechanic. Um, we, If we're going for one of the sides, either his left side or his right side, we'll hit a crit spot on his head first and then a crit spot down, lower down on his arms. Um, just follow where everybody else is shooting. Um, and then the, he has two crit spots on his back, too. So you may secure a say. You know, go to his back. Again, just follow where everybody else is. Shoot what everyone else is shooting. Um, once we break the two spots, everybody will go back to their native plates and clear out some ads there while we wait for the next callouts. Um... Yeah, I mean, then rinse and repeat. Do that until we've done enough damage. Um, make sure you change the mod on your raid class item to be solar, so you're getting the extra 25% damage for Golden Gun. Um, other than that, Piston Shadow section, you guys got anything you want to add? No, that was pretty good. So, right. right at the beginning... I'm going to pick up a cranium and bring it to whichever plate is called out and stay there. Correct? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Stay yeah. there and defend. And do not shoot the as the DPS starts. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> right. <clears throat> yeah, defend that, half that's the really important. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think you've you've both done uh, prestige callus, where yeah. you know don't shoot the dogs, don't shoot the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Don't hit don't hit anything in or near the tether. Only shoot stuff that's actually getting up onto the plate or that's coming up from the other side of the plate. Um, all right. Um, okay, after you pick up the skulls on this first one, do not jump immediately. There's going to be a quick cutscene. If you jump, you will fall to your death during the cutscene. All right, so go ahead out towards your skulls. Um, all right, Piston, you ready? Piston is ready. Okay. Pick I am up. ready. Yeah, you knew what I meant when I was asking if you were ready. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's on solar side. Right, solar yeah. side? Say again. Two arcs and one void. Arcs. Solar side. Two arcs and one void. Alright, so. Shadow. Yeah. 
shadow and piston will go to oh. arc. I'll go to void. Alright. I'll tether left side. Should we get rid of them? Go ahead and shoot the red side. Alright, the arc craniums are good to go. Yep, Void's ready. So Ace, I think you left your cranium in arc. Next time, make sure you bring it to the DPS plate, so oh, shorter okay. in this particular case. Oh, okay. Alright, Void's ready. Arc um, I'm taking a top Go ahead. Alright. Three, two, ready? one, go. Alright, defenders, grab the, the solar skulls there. What's the net? Jump the net. Use them for oh, DPS. Ooh. I'm in the net, left side. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to shoot the harpy center. Ow. Oh, wow. Nets. Yeah. Harpy's yeah, coming in. It's okay, we need to do a little better on DPS there. Yeah, gotta watch out for the um, the harpies after he shoots the net. Right, so we'll go. We'll jump up to our left for white mechanic. Okay. Back. You want to do the back? Do Let's do the back. Yeah. All right, so come come down here. We're pissed in there. Right side. They have gone and gun. Use it on the crit. Alright. Alright. And we got it. Back to your plate. Right there. Back to our original plates now, right? Back yep, to your correct. original plate. Get ready to pick up Skull. Okay. Yeah, so, what are you talking about? On that nipple right to the right. To the right yeah. That little mound of rock, that's the actual building. But the building works right here? too. Yep, yep. You can okay. get it right on top of that. Gotcha. And then make sure your body is, is in the middle of the plate. Alright, arc side. Yes, we have two arcs and a void. Alright, so. Defenders go to arc. Runners go to void. Arc in general just sucks with that other stuff. Right, I'm gonna the tether. Bottom left corner, yeah. Oh. Bottom left. Uh, yeah, there was an arc Drop. that stood there. That's fine. Why can't I deposit <laughs> that Because it's full. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to void. I help out. Where's the cranium? Go and shoot the ass up top. Should I just drop it here then? Oh, drop it. I'm sure. Go to void. Go to void. Yeah, leave it there. The I, I think I'll... Yeah, that's fine. Almost dead. <laughs> Shoot yeah, ass. Like Alright. Alright, let's get the craniums. Whoa. <laughs> now we have a defender over just, here. Just plant yours. Oh, plant yours. It's fine. Remember you have invis too? In case you want to go chase and food. Alright. You get, okay, wait, you get those wait. guys, you gotta just tether the top of that block. Alright. Right. Just wait for me, just a sec. Alright. I just got bumped. Come on. Go ahead and kill the, kill the ads. Yeah, get the, get yeah, the harpy. Shoot the harpy, shoot the minotaur up by the plate. 
I'm gonna swap my void for an arc. Somebody can pick up the void. void. Mac, run One up and grab defenders. that void skull. Alright, I'll take uh, left arc. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Alright, alright, ready? I got Shadow's Shit. red arc. Three, two, one, shoot. Nope. Oh, alright. Oh. Oh. It's okay, it's still on the arc. Uh. Now I reset. Oh, crap. Oh, nice. Alright. We'll, we'll keep going, this is good, good practice. So, just, just, doing the, uh, just so you can see there? where the... Go to your left, see where the look left DPS plates are. Or the top of that spot, right, right, right there, see that one right there? Yeah, top of that, right on top of it. That's right. And that'll get all the hard. There's the head. Shoot from right there, though. There's the right. arm. That's the one I always fuck up. I try to shoot the top of it, and I end up shooting out into space. That's the hard one for me. But yeah, if you get it on top of that one, it'll catch all those harpies that we shoot. Alright, I usually shoot right. from... Um, yeah, back to your plate, back to your plate. Back your plate. <laughs> Okay, it's on void. We have two arc and one void. So the defenders are all going to come to void. The runners are all going to go to arc. There's already an arc. They are cooking. She's Look there from before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Alright. I'm going to tether the the left side. Kill on the right. Christ. Stupid chest. Alright, our swings are ready. Switch for but uh, that's that up void. Got a harpy up here on the way. And up, get the get the minotaur. And the minotaur, the minotaurs need to die. Yeah. All right. I'm dropping this skull <laughs> at the back right here, Mac. Pick it up. I'm gonna drop it right next to you. I'll get uh, left arc. You just use it for DPS. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, DPS. Watch the prism. Puppy's coming in. Skull here I'm still. Trapped. Oh, and there's a fucking minute here. Ow. <laughs> I messed that up. <laughs> yeah, you wanna go on the other side of that rock? It's okay. Okay, we're gonna jump up to our right. Yeah. There you go. From the platforms oh. up here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, what, what the hell just happened? Harpies. Harpies. Yep. That's fine, that's fine. We should be fine still. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Ah, right, back to position. What have we not done? Is that all? That's we it. haven't done far side. That's it. No, just kidding. Yeah, 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 no, this is it. We do it now or we're dead. <laughs> it's a far side. I meant to say front side because there isn't one. So which side am I going it, to? 
Solar side. Solar side. Solar okay. side. Oh, yep. One of each. So the defenders all go to solar. Runners don't go to solar. <laughs> go somewhere else, got it. Better put it on that on nipple. Tether. Easy. Tether. Yeah. Right side. Nice. I'm gonna tether right. Yep. Tether that rock. Good shit, I'm tethered, man. Nice. Don't another one kill. Okay, don't kill it again. Okay, uh, uh, are we out of here? Off ready? Yep. Oh, there we go. Right. Right. Got it. On my way with the void then. Hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. You gotta get. Oh, you gotta get do it again. Yeah, that's good orbs. That's good ah. grenades. Great. Alright, I got void. <laughs> and I got arc. arc. Oh, oh, you make me switch. Yeah, I get solar. <laughs> Alright, Matt, come pick All up right. this cranium right here. I, Matt, I got the tough solar. Right. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Right here. Right by the, by, the fire, by, the fire, by the fire. By the fire, by the fire, by the fire, by the fire. Nice. There you go. Right. Okay, three, two, Just one, go. Alright, everything you got. Watch out for the uh, net and the harpies. Alright, he's done though. There we go. Harpies right. incoming. You know what? That uh, we didn't wipe. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know the grenade launcher, Shadow? Good night. Good stuff, Zach. Yeah. You know, every time I, I come in here after the lair, I think, you know what? I, I liked that that little detail that they added. Uh, that there's callus spots missing. Oh. oh. Yeah. 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 At this point, you know, we've killed how many? And. You can actually see who we've made a dent. Guardian down. So, anyway, yeah, all right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good well, stuff. Congrats on the first, guys. I'd still like a little bit of clarification about the skulls. I don't fully understand what was going on. Yeah. The craniums? Yeah, Wait, the craniums. Which part? That For the, the second doing? part, with me, as a defender, I was grabbing the cranium, but I wasn't putting it in my home one. I was running it to where I was defending to have it charged. The, yeah, the right. DPS so plate. Those, right, so once the shield came down, um, you guys would grab those skulls and use them for DPS. Mm. And a second set that was spawning was the ones you guys were grabbing and charging at the respective place to... Correct. Okay. Correct. But the, you know, if you if you think about it, right, all we need is the three skulls or cranium matching the um, the orbs around the shield, yes. right, to take down the shield. Yes. So, you know, in theory, that's the only three you need. So the runner would just need to make sure that, hey, we have these colors, and be done with it. The thing is, these craniums take out like what 500,000. Uh, yeah, they do a lot of damage. Right. So we try to cook all six. Yes. 
Yes. So the easier way to do that is to get the defender like simple, take yours, bring them to the plate, and then the runner have to cook the difference, if that makes sense. Yes, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. So that's the that's the rationale behind behind trying to get like all six cooked, ready to go, and you know three for the shields, three for DPS, that kind of speed things up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like I I really like this layer because it's actually pretty easy to get two people through who have never done it before. Where, you know, with Spire of Stars. <laughs> That's a two night effort. Yeah, well I mean if you if you got two new people, it's it's difficult. Um it's, you know you can it's you can hide one. <laughs> you can hide one, you can't hide two. There there's no place to hide in that one. Well, was I a hard to uh, carry there, Brazil? I don't know. No, I was. You guys, yeah, you exactly. guys were killing stuff. No, well, I don't know. We when I was the, doing the <laughs> Spire of Stars with uh, him uh, Friday. Oh, I, I don't think I was in your Spire of Stars run. You weren't? Was I? I didn't think I was. You, Raven. No, Friday we were doing the, uh, the Prestige carries. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember now when that was. I wasn't on until late oh. Friday. Maybe it was Thursday. I can't remember. I thought that you were in that one, but I might have... No, actually that was someone else. But, yeah, no, it's... It's it's fun. I really like it. But it's, yeah, it's yeah, hard it's, to bring it's a fun one. multiple new people through. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's a it's a good one. I really like it. I like that it's challenging. Whenever. Except for when it's prestige and it's challenging. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we were we got to phase one of the boss earlier today, and we're just we were struggling. <laughs> It was a struggle bus. Just, there's <laughs> so many ads and they hit so hard. Second phase is actually easier than the first phase, I think, on Prestige. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I agree. Much more much more predictable spawning pattern. Um and less ads. I, I really think there's less ads. There are. And um, they're they're just the really um the ads at the end, right? When you go back to the uh, the window. Yeah. So, anyway. Good stuff. But... Yeah, this... It's not a carry, though. It's... Going through for the first time. So Piston, have you decided if you're if you're gonna try and take a nap before that phone call, or <laughs> you stay up? I don't know. I I usually don't sleep until like one. So I'm so you're not staying stay up awake. that much, really. All right. Well, do you want to run some strikes and crucible for bounties? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Um, Have you done your um, your solstice um, uh, the heroic wizard teammate or clanmate? Yep, but I'll run them with you if you want, because I can still get the bounties on those. I mean, it's glass and brawler, which is <laughs> less yeah. than fun, 
But <laughs> well, I'll still running with uh, you. Yeah, if you want, if you want some help, I'll do some bounties there. All right, let's do it. Yeah, the um, I'm stocking up on stock. bounties to cash in after. Yeah, <laughs> after forsaken. Just get one of each of them. And... But don't they all have a 24-hour timer on them? To complete, not to cash in. So, if you complete it and leave it in your inventory, you can't pick another one up of the same kind. But, you can, you can still pick up the, um, you can, you know, the next day you can go back and, okay, well, I don't, I didn't get these two yesterday, so I can grab these two and complete those two. And you can just have them sitting there waiting to be cashed in. So I'll cash them in. When Forsaken rolls around. All right, so I'll just give me one sec. Guys, we gotta take off. So, all right, section. See you later. Uh, yeah, it's good being with you. Thanks for the help. Have a good night. Always fun. Have a good one. Have a good one. You too. What's the singe right. this week on the heroics? Is it solar? Uh, I'm not sure. Who's the fire team leader? Uh, I am in orbit. And I made Mac the fire team leader so that we, we didn't pull him out of the okay. tower if he was doing okay. stuff. Uh, oh, I totally forgot I was in the, in the fire team. That was fun, guys. No, you're, you're good. You're good. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thanks, cool. man. It was good. You did good. It is, yeah, it's solar singe. Glass and solar. solar. So, it's 